and Christianity is kind of the root of all human suffering and failure in this world. I mean, the West is the way it is today because of Christianity. Everything that is, you want to get into current events, everything that's happening right now is because of Christianity, flat out. So, burning churches and scaring the living shit out of Christians and reminding them that they don't have every last man, woman, and child in their clutches is pretty important. Europeans regard metal as a legitimate art form, a legitimate form of music just like any other, be it jazz or classical or whatever what have you. Um, Europeans understand art intrinsically. It's something that's inborn into them as a culture and as a people. I mean, it doesn't matter where we're talking about. It's they. These are the people who created art as we know it in the modern world. From, from Italy to Norway, uh, from France to Spain, all those places, they all have vast histories of art. We're not, uh, you know, we're not going around talking about a god or god or gods that are human in form, have personalities, have all the you know, petty bullshit that goes along with uh, the decaying meat sacks that are, is humanity. People ask me what I am, I, I say I'm, I'm a Hessian. Um, and I justify the way I run my life by that idea. You know, I, every job I've ever gone to, dress code or not, I wear, I wear the, I'm dressed like this, the way you see me now, more or less. I don't put my hair up, I don't take my earrings out, uh, because I'm a Hessian. That's who I am. The lion in the desert when it eats the antelope isn't isn't uh, worrying about oh shit I just killed something. Uh, it's that's that's basically survival and there's nothing more beyond that. The same with like the the tree that grows over the abandoned motorcycle. It's the tree itself is not wondering about what it is that it's doing or whether or not it should be doing it. It just does. People who are actually you know, metalheads or Hessians who basically make it through the holes of their lives in that mode and under those auspices. For us it is it is a way of life and it, and it doesn't matter where you're from. We can go all the way to Brazil or all the way to Slovenia and we're going to meet people who are just like us and we'll be able to walk up and shake hands without ever having met before because we know we have something in common. But uh, there is something that is uh, beyond just this, this fucking flesh. Uh, you know, you go out to the desert, you go out to the forest, you look at the trees, you look at uh, the ocean crashing on the rocks, and there's definitely something out there. Um, you can call it holy, you can call it unholy, whatever you want, but it's uh, something spiritual, it's something that uh, we don't necessarily know and can't put a finger on it, but we understand that it's there. It, it's really hard in America to, to burn a church and, and not have it be turned into like a racial thing or a hate crime. The, the laws against hate crimes here in America are very stringent and you probably get more jail time for burning a church down than you would for raping somebody. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when property crimes are put above human, uh, human value in this country routinely. Uh, so, but as far as, as far as the statement goes, absolutely we endorse it. Uh, the, you know, the the burning of the churches in, in Norway and, and other parts of Europe definitely were a statement to Judeo-Christianity to say, get out, you are not part of us, you need to go back where you came from. Just because we acknowledge an energy of the universe does not mean that we worship it. That does not mean that we put ourselves beneath it. We are one with it, we are a part of it, we are all involved in that same continuum. Uh, from a mountain to a person to the wind to anything, any element that we experience, anything that is a uh, part of our world, uh, we are just as much a part of it and there's no reason to, for us to bow down and worship the, whatever it is that, that gave rise to it. It's just all part of the same continuum. Basically, the standing belief of Christianity in this day and age is all hinging upon go forth and multiply. And if that means uh, by people, you know, in terms of people, that's what they do. In terms of uh, commerce, that is what they do. And pretty much most, your average person, your average Christianized mind is one that is mostly concerned about 
Well, where am I going to be able to buy my sundries that isn't inconvenient to me? Where are my children going to be able to work for the summer and then ultimately become managers of when they graduate from high school? Uh, people, a lot of people believe that overbuilding and destroying everything else in its path, it's like trees won't give you a job. You yeah, know? trees don't pay taxes. Trees don't pay taxes. Exactly. So that everyone's just everyone believes that uh, overdoing it is evidence of progress, and that everything is going to be just fine. There's a plenty of those uh, used to kind of people in the world. You know, the ones that say, "Oh yeah, I used to listen to metal back then," and the the, the people that are truly into metal, the people that uh, are are called to it in a way, um, there's no use to about them. Uh, you know, sometimes it, it's your interest level and it ebbs and flows, uh, but it never truly leaves you. You never truly leave it. Uh, I'm Sanguine Mopsama. I'm vocals and guitar, left hand of God for Reversifera. I am Rathsethera Diabolus, shadow vocals and bass for Reversifera, angel of absolutes. The energy that drives the universe is an ambivalent one. It is not benevolent. It is not malevolent. It just does not have any sort of agenda on that in such simple terms.